The patient populations that are served by Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute are extremely diverse. Our goal is to take everything that can occur in the cardiovascular system, be able to treat it in the least invasive way, the most effective, cost-effective way, and be able to get these patients back as quickly as possible. When we look back over the past 10, 20, 30 years and think about how this has benefited patient care, it's been incredibly dramatic. You can take some clinical examples where a patient with an aneurysm, for instance, in their abdomen, used to come in, spend two to four days in the ICU after open surgery, seven days in the hospital, up to 30 to 60 days recovering. And now those same patients can actually go home in 48 hours. Patients who need an aortic valve used to have to have open heart surgery, go on cardiopulmonary bypass, and now can have these valves placed percutaneously, meaning through small femoral incisional access, and go home in 24, 48, 72 hours. These are really dramatic changes. We don't want to have technology just for technology's sake. There has to be some measurable, deliverable benefit to the patients, to the system, to the people who work in the system, and so on. So we need to have a vendor relationship that's two ways and allows us to participate in the development of that change. The feedback loop between a vendor like Philips and us as operators and developers of clinical innovation has to be tight because we know in two years the equipment we're going to be using and the services provided by that equipment are going to be changing and evolving and we want to be part of that evolution. We hope one day to have most of our patients who suffer from aneurysm disease be able to be treated and go home the same day. Innovation and you, Phillips.